Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Facebook Live with me. Today, I would like to focus on some Qigong techniques that will cleanse and then um, replenish the energetic field around you. And the idea here is that we're getting really good at washing our hands, right? Not touching our face, washing our hands to kind of make sure that we don't spread this virus. But I'd like to bring that same attention to um, our energetic field. So the space around us as well. And this is going to help with uh, the emotional roller coaster of sheltering in place, of living with the uncertainty of an invisible um, enemy, if you want to call the coronavirus an invisible enemy. So let's get started. Um, this is a, a typical practice that I would do after I had addressed all of my joints and made sure that I don't have any pain. Um, but if you wake up and you don't have pain, this is a great practice to do first thing in the morning as you prepare for the rest of your day um, or at the end of your day after you have addressed whatever uh, concerns you have in the body. So let's begin by standing. And I'm going to move back there so you can see me. Yeah, see my whole body? Good. Okay. So first thing we'll do is just stand with the feet a uh, comfortable space apart, about the width of your shoulders. And then let your knees be soft. So not locked and not super bent, but just unlocked and soft. And then just begin to shake the wrists around. And I'll show you real close. This is a, a pretty um, active shaking, but my fingers are really relaxed. So if you're somebody who spends a little bit of time on the computer, maybe a lot of time on the computer, or maybe doing some other things that use your hands, like, oh, let's say painting. I see one of my artist friends are on. Um, really good to to get the tension out of the hands out of the wrists okay so i'm going to turn a little bit sideways so you i'm hoping this will help to to show some of this okay so now that you've got the hands down notice that you're relaxing the fingers to create that that movement so the movement is really coming from the muscles around the wrists and the fingers. Okay, now we're gonna move that, that movement up to the elbows. And the hands are still kind of in it, but it, oh boy, this is looking goofy, isn't it? The, <laughs> the upper arms are really creating the movement. Okay, now from there, we're gonna let the arms relax and move up into the shoulders. And this is where my breath gets a little bit funny. Yeah. Okay. And then I go into the hips. The arms relax and I go into my hips. Yeah. So I'm wiggling the hips, wiggling the thighs, wiggling around the knees, and then the ankles. The feet stay on the ground but then the ankles and the knees kind of go together, right? And then that's the end. Then we do the whole thing again, but a little faster. So it goes wrists, elbows, shoulders. I like that part. Hips, legs, knees, ankles, feet, and pause. And again, hands, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, feet, and paws. And then try to go even faster. This is called shivering horse. And you know how quickly a horse can just move a fly off of it. So that's what we're going to do now. So wrist, 
elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. This one always makes me smile. <laughs> and again, ah, oh, shaking loose, whatever doesn't belong, any tension, any heat, any emotion, let it shake out, Ooh. let it drop down into the earth to be absorbed, to be recycled. One more. Ooh. Yeah. Good. And then just pause and feel. Heart might be beating a little bit faster. Ah. One time I was trying to do that and my uh, dog was sitting nearby me, stood, stood up, looked at me, and then proceeded to shake his whole body as if to shave, show me, this is what you're trying to do, right? <laughs> so animals really know how to do it a lot better than us. Okay, so now we're going to do a second cleansing type motion or action, but this one is going to, the previous one, the shivering horse, went from the wrists down. This one's going to go from the ankles up, okay? And it's important to remember throughout this that you keep your feet on the ground. So I'm just going to start by bouncing my body, and the visual for me is that the only joint that's allowed to move, that's allowed to be relaxed and moving, is at the ankles. The rest of my body is kind of stiff. Not in a bad way, but just held. There's a bit of like fascial tension there. Okay, so the ankles are starting to relax a little bit as I'm doing this really subtle bouncing. Now I'm going to bring the, the bouncing up to the knees. So now the ankles stay still, the hips and up are creating a little bit of bounce at the knees. And as best you can, it's a weird one, I know, as best you can, keep the knees relaxed. Okay, then come up into the hips. So now the legs stay a little bit stiff or firm, upper body is a little bit stiff or firm, and the hips get to be loose. And what I like to do here is I like to shift my weight over to one side. And then I can see, oh, there's that one hip. Hmm. Maybe lean a little forward. Maybe lean a little back. And then shift your weight over to the other side. There's that hip. So you're trying to relax the hip, letting the rest of the body be firm so that the hip is the only joint that's allowed to move. And then you can lean a little forward in the hip while you're doing this, and a little back. And it's hard to do. <laughs> okay, and then both hips. And then see if you can get the lower back to be the joint that moves. Kind of hard to separate the lower back from the upper back. However you can do it. Now I'm noticing the breath is starting to get involved, so there's almost a, a shallow panting going on, okay, which is good, means I'm working around the lungs, okay, and then maybe, depending on how my neck is feeling today, maybe I get some movement in the neck, and uh, maybe that's it, <laughs> my neck is a little sensitive, okay, so then the whole body is now firm and just my shoulders are allowed, my shoulders and my arms are allowed to move. And that's, that's a tough one because the shoulders really want to get involved. Okay, and then I'm just going to bend my elbows a little bit so that I can feel the elbows relax, firming around the forearm and the upper arm. And then it goes right into the wrist right into the wrist. Yeah. So this is what I think of as the lather cycle, right? So when you think about washing your hair, there's a lather and then there's a rinse. 
Okay, this is the lather. I'm lathering. I'm just getting into all the joints, getting into whatever is there. So then you pause at the end of that. You pause. Ah, take some breaths and notice pulses, tingles. Notice pressure across the different joints. Hopefully there's been a shift in the positive direction, not in the negative direction. So at this point is when I decide whether I'm going to go back and do Shivering Horse again or some other cleansing practice, or I'm, I'm going to move on to the rinse. So for the rinse cycle, that is what's known as pulling down heavens. My first Qigong teacher taught this as the Qi shower, which is why I advertise this uh, practice as the shower and shield. So for pulling down heavens, I'm just going to start to slowly bring the arms out and up, just floating the arms, and then the palms turn and reach towards the sky. And then from the sky, you're going to pull down, that's the name, pull down from the heavens, palms face the floor, and the, the finger nails are kind of facing each other as you let the hands float down in front of you, okay? Now what I'd like you to imagine is as you're raising the arms, imagine you're pulling the energy from the earth up through your arms, and then at the top, that's where you're pulling the energy from the heavens down. And it's all getting mixed together. And then that mixture is rinsing the body, rinsing it of tension, of toxin, of emotion, anything not needed. So let's give it a color. The earth energy is gold. And the heavenly energy is silver. So they kind of mix together, giving you a sort of pewter look. And you're going to pour that over the front of the body, deep into, penetrating into the front of the body, and just rinsing off whatever isn't needed. And then we do that again. And this time we're going to rinse the back of the body. So visualize pouring that pewter color of the heaven and the earth over the back of the body. Ah, just like when you rinse in the shower. And then this next one is going to go straight down the middle of the body as if you could pour that energy through the skull, through the sinuses, through the mouth, the throat, the spine, heart and lungs, abdominal organs, through the center of the arms, through the center of the legs, and whatever debris that you're trying to get rid of is remaining in that pouring gets absorbed by the earth. So let's do that again with the breath. Inhaling, earth energy up, grab that heavenly silver energy, exhale, pour it down the front of the body, Ooh, through the face, through the chest, front of the arms, front of the legs, into the earth, whatever doesn't belong. And then again, inhaling up, exhaling down the back of the body, back of the skull, back, hips, buttocks, back of the arms, back of the legs, earth absorbs it. And again, inhaling up, this time right through the center of you, through the skull, the brain, sinuses, the mouth and throat, spine, organs, center of the arms, center of the legs. And let's do that three more times, inhaling up, rinse it away. Mm. And it feels good to be lighter, to not have this stuff sticking to the front of us, and to not have this stuff sticking to the back of us. Yeah, that energetic field is now clearing cleansing, and then one more time, this time right down the center of you, getting rid of whatever else, maybe through all those dark nooks and crannies inside the body. Oh, and then you're just going to let the arms rest, 
Knees are unlocked, weight in the heels. There's a, a really slight tuck of the pelvis here. And to counter that tuck of the pelvis, we're also lengthening at the back of the neck. So you feel a, a, a subtle, subtle stretching of the spine. And then I want you to think about something that really makes you happy. So where I live here in Florida, there are dolphins that swim by my house every day. Every time I see them, whatever I'm doing, I always stop and it puts a big smile on my face. So go ahead and let yourself smile. Notice what that does to the muscles of your face and encourage that same action through the muscles of the body almost like you could pour that smile, the effect of that smile, down through the whole body. Smiling down the whole body. And then once you get to the feet, the feet are now rooted into the earth. The feet are growing wider, like hobbit feet from the Lord of the Rings. And they're starting to send roots into the earth. So I'm on a second floor here. So I imagine those roots are going through this floor, through the story below, through the foundation, around any rocks, waterways, or other roots into the earth. And those roots are going down, forward, back, left and right, all direction. Now, bring your hands in front of your belly, turn your palms to face your belly, and let the arms rest kind of low, right? The, the center of the palm is facing the front of the low belly. Okay, so we still have our roots, we're still visualizing those roots, and the next time you inhale, visualize pulling up golden earth energy through those roots, through those legs, into the lower belly, right where your palms are facing. As you exhale, send that energy right back down. If you want, you can bend and straighten the legs a little bit. So it's inhale up into the belly, and then exhale back down. Inhaling up through the roots, through the legs, into the lower belly, and exhale back down. Now remember the, the color of earth is gold, like the color of a, a wheat field. So gold energy is coming up into the lower belly, and then you're exhaling it back down. Now this next time, bring that energy up and keep it there. So pull the energy up, exhale, let it store. That gold is glowing brighter and growing bigger. Inhale through, through the roots, through the feet, into the legs, into the low belly. Store it as you exhale. Inhaling up. Exhaling store. Earth energy. Inhaling up. Exhaling store, and it's, it's growing, right? It's getting bigger and brighter. And it starts to spill out over the belly, beyond the belly, into the rest of the torso. So as you exhale, you feel it glowing and maybe shining up into the upper torso, into the heart and lungs. So now raise your arms up like you're about to hug a big tree. Center of the palms now facing center the front of your chest. So inhaling up, exhaling, store. Inhaling up, earth energy, gold energy. Now so full in the lower belly, it's expanding to the upper body, maybe even coming up through the head, through the arms, and the whole body from the inside is filling up, filling up with this golden earth energy.
And then the next time you exhale, visualize that golden glowing earth energy expanding through the pores of your skin to about an inch beyond your body, an inch beyond your skin. So it's now moving into the space around you, into your energetic field, your Wei Qi field. Inhaling, drawing that earth energy in, exhaling, let it expand through the pores of your skin. That means the back of your body, top of your body, bottom of your body, front of your body, everywhere where you have a pore in your skin is now shining bright with this gold earth energy. And it keeps filling up, right? It's unlimited down there, that earth energy. So it keeps filling up into the space around you, maybe a foot away from your skin. Maybe two feet away from your skin. Maybe three feet away from your skin. Maybe you're inside one of those fun inflatable bubbles that people roll around in and you're filling up that bubble with this beautiful golden earth energy. This is your aura. Do three more breaths like that. Okay. And then when you're done, Slowly bring the hands in towards the body, turn the palms and lower the hands down. And then join the thumb and index fingers, almost like you're going to seal a Ziploc bag, right? Seal it off, seal it off and let your hands rest. Okay, you are ready for your day. Either the rest of your day, um, Maybe your night or maybe your full day, depending on where you are. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your whatever part of your day is left. <laughs>